All right, we are back for the glorious conclusion of Vinestorm in Popper on Popper Ponderings. I'm Austin. I'm going to keep this hand. I apologize. Last round was a little greasy. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? I feel like we need as much help as we can get. We were able to go off, which was sweet. And again, I really do not think that we were even close to winning. Ms. Mirkfiend. How do we beat Ms. Mirkfiend? I guess we got a brainstorming response. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so what do we want to hide? We want to hide... The problem is that like, Ms. Mirkfiend is never dying. So they can need to hide in her fires for that reason. Oh my god, if this guy's got a deck full of Ms. Fiends, I don't know if we can ever win. I'm being straight with you right now. Legitimately straight, I don't think we can ever win if this guy's got a deck full of Ms. Fiends. But you know what? We're going to be positive. This is a positive channel. It's Popper Ponderings. Triple P. Pop positive Popper Ponderings. Maybe I'm going to switch the name. Triple P. And he's looking at my hand. He's like, what is this guy even doing? To be honest, I don't know. This art is actually just terrifying. Look at this thing. How is this a 1-1? One -one? Alright. There is the inner fire that we knew about. Here is an island because we want to draw the other inner fire. Hopefully we don't get Mesmeric Fiended again. Swiftwater Cliffs. So they're Grixis control back, I guess. Oh yeah. Fiend's getting in there. I like to cube a lot. This is a guy this is a guy that I think he finds his way into you know some cubes. But it is still a little weak, I guess you could say. It is sweet though. I do like me a Tide Hall Sculler, and that kind of was the original Tide Hall Sculler, I guess. I guess this is the original Tide Hall Sculler. This series of cards is actually pretty sweet. Uh, he's using a Vintage Masters version, which is very unfortunate. But, um. Oh my god, a. Best Weird Queen. Oh no, that's not good. That is not good. This is going to be a tough matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Very tough indeed. Um, yeah, this I think this cycle of cards was actually very sweet. Um, there was Faceless Butcher was a card. that was kind of like the very first Fiend Hunter. I think, um, yeah, it was... I just, it was, it was all right. Texas mid range. So we took our other draw spell, which makes sense. We're gonna crack our evolving wilds for mountain, and then we're gonna untap. We need to draw a draw spell. That's a sprouting vines. That's like one we didn't want. So we're gonna pass. Hopefully we don't get mesmeric fiend again. So that'll be very bad. What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So now the question becomes do we concede? Hmm. Uh, I think we do have to concede. I think if he sees what we're doing, especially now that he was sprouting lines, and I don't think we're winning this game, yeah, we're gonna concede. Not seeing, I'm not gonna discard him cards. Do you? All right, now what? <laughs> <laughs> Probably want another Garmic Torch. <laughs> uh, we definitely want. I think we want an Electric Rear too. To kick.
kill those mesmeric fiends. It seems like an issue. Port that out, port that out, port that out. Alright, uh, there we go. So, what do I think of Vinestorm so far? Well, uh, we know when I do good, the good, the bad, and the ugly, this deck, um, you know how a lot of, oh my god, I think this is a little better, I guess. You know how, you know, sometimes it's usually even, I try to find... You know, they, they, they call it the compliment sandwich, where, you know, some, uh, you know, there's a little, there's a good, a little bit of good, a little bit of bad, and then a little bit of good again, so you end on a high note. I'm not saying this deck is worse than Witness Me, but it may be close. All right. So please no, no Mesmeric Fiend. Black for a duress, I assume. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is all sorts of bad. And he eggs on my graveyard, which I guess is not the biggest deal. I'm going to draw the Sprouting Vines, though. Oh, another Talarian wins. Never mind. I apologize. All right, so I think we Talarian wins here. Play that and then pass. Oh, my God. This is just abysmal, isn't it? This is so bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, that's not good. He's like, what is sprouting vine? <laughs> wow, we took a right off like no respect. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. <laughs> Alright. Where's the electricers when we need them? Right, we're gonna put some on the bottom. We're gonna put this clear wins on the bottom. Draw a card. Oh, Oh, buddy, another another one of those. We're going to pass. Well, we play against the Grixis hand attack deck with our very, very medium storm deck. And I think if you're like, if for some reason, you know, if in the future, maybe after a good player kind of finds this deck and maybe modifies it a little bit, and maybe Vine Storm becomes a, a very relevant piece of the metagame. Well, we can all go back to this video and we can watch this Grixis midrange deck just fundamentally tear it apart. Because that's what uh, is happening to me right now. I am getting utterly dominated. <laughs> in every resource. Creatures, he has more. Lands, he has more. Cards in hand, he has more. This is a mole drifter. No, just a deep analysis. Okay, okay. I think we're okay still. Vindicate 2014. Yeah, vindicated my deck. And he's even winning on life total. Literally, he's winning on every resource. Which, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, Preordain. That's a good draw. All right, let's see. What do we got? Electricery. Oh, you coy devil. Put that on top and put that on the bottom. Maybe we should have drawn that land. I don't know. At this point, you know, it's it's really it's 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 really not about that at this point. Ooh, deep analysis himself doesn't matter if he still has more life than me. What is this? <sighs> okay then. All right, all right. That's good. That's that is that is good. Oh yeah, this is this is good stuff right here. Okay, what do we draw? Evolving Wilds. Oh no, can't cast that. Our right, most get stuck. Boom. I think, I th think we're going to Sprouting Lines for, oh, we can't even, it's an Evolving Wilds. Okay, hopefully, you know, 
We're going to hold out thought that he's not going to destroy our hand this turn. Maybe this is just a Mole Drifter. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. You know, I'm a really big hockey fan. And, uh been watching the World Junior Championships, which is kind of the, all the guys under 20. And, you know, every now and then the international competition, you know, Canada has to play Denmark or Latvia in the game. You know, it gets to the third period and it's like 7 nothing, And Canada goes in the power play. And uh, they throw their top line out there again. That's what I, f I really, you know, I'm, I'm happy that this guy respects me enough to continue to just continually destroy and utterly dominate me, but it doesn't feel good, and, and <laughs> you know what, I'm going to play it out. <laughs> For the viewer, this has been super short. Luckily, I got two videos going up this week. Goodbye. What has he got now? Please be Gourmet Angler. Please. Yeah, alright. Thank thank God. This is almost over. I will take my 1 down to 13. <laughs> alright. Red. There's an island. Okay, good. I'm going to pass the turn here. Just our 3 mana... Lightning striking me or whatever. Oh, four, five. Mole Drifter? Mole Drifter. Wish I had a Mole Drifter to cast. Excuse me. Yep, yep. We're taking. Luckily, we're dead next turn. Alright, big draw coming here. Oh. Just straight up fireball my face. I like this guy. This guy doesn't mess around. All right, here we go. Big draw. Big draw. Boom. Island. Love it. We're going to keep it in hand. Just to show him. Show him we're not intimidated by him, you know? We're not intimidated. Another land. Okay. Ooh. The Blightning. Wow. Wow. He's got us. All, all angles are covered. <laughs> all right. Well, we're, you know what? We're going to let it happen here. We're going to give him the satisfaction. Discard the island. Down to two. And he lightning bolts us for the win. <laughs> All right. Well, that was round number three. This was Vinestorm. And I'll be back for the conclusion to this very interesting set of videos in just a few moments. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the conclusion. This is Austin. This is Popper Ponderings, only on the Mana Base.